right, here we go. Do that warp. Trim range all the way in. I like trims on three or four for takeoff. And when I fly around, I usually let them out um, to the second black line, which is just short of six, right on five. Um, or I fly trims all the way out. Usually I use power attack. So we'll set it up trims on three for some uh, inflations. Show you what it's like to inflate with trims on three. Wings are super light. <laughs> trims out to the second black line. That was with trims, trims on the second black line, second black stitching line, which is about the same as the ozone wing. Sixteen meter. Tips and tricks. This is trims all the way close. All right. The wing is trimmed very slow with the trims all the way in, and that is so the wing can turn very tightly around a pylon without having to pull any brake. Pulling brake makes drag and slows you down. So they trim it slow with the trims all the way in so it'll turn tight around a pylon without pulling brakes. It makes it a little bit harder to launch like this because the pilot has to pull the A's about this far to bring the wing up if you have the trims all the way in. If you let the trims out to three, here, that's three, then the wing only needs a very slight pull on the A-lines to bring the wing up over your head. If you do not have a good technique for this, if pulling the A-lines is hard for you, maybe you have short arms, I don't know, then you can let the trims out to the first black, This actually it's the second, so not this black line on zero, this black line, which is trims on five. Let the trims out to that black line. And then you really don't even need to pull the A's. You can just run and the wing will come up over your head. You can hit your throttle, apply a little bit of brake and go fly. <laughs> 